Good Christmas Eve morning. Cambro Marshall here, KPRC Channel 2 meteorologist. Taking a look, the Avenida Houston uh, uh, camera, 68 degrees. Our normal high is about five degrees cooler than that. So we see that trend continuing that we've been seeing over the last several days. Warm trend will continue today. Shower chances, upper 70s for your highs, and then Christmas Day, a repeat of the Saturday conditions. So we'll have some shower chances, but for the most part, it'll be just overcast and dreary for the most part, but the temperatures will be a lot warmer than they normally are. Exact track radar showing a few showers there and off down along the coast here. We have this marine advisory until nine o'clock. Visibility could be under one mile in some of those places. The showers are light in nature throughout the northwestern part of the area. 290 going across Hempstead and Sealy, but nothing like what's going on in the eastern seaboard. This is a a line of showers and storms that are associated with the front that is not going to impact us, but it may, may impact your travel if you're planning on going to the east and if you're going to the northwest, lots of travel issues there because of snow that's going to be in place. For us, the visibility along the coast is a little bit less than what it is inland. Half a mile in Angleton, it was about a half a mile. Now three in Galveston as we're doing this recording for you. That's going to be lifting up. Here's a futurecast model showing the showers you see around and about there until the afternoon and then into the evening hours slight shower chances going into Sunday morning. Showers still around. That's going to be the trend going forward all the way for the next several days. You see the wind coming in from the south and east a bit, nine miles an hour for the most part. That's the lower levels of the atmosphere bringing in that moisture that will help keep our chances for showers in there. But looking at the bigger picture here, that front that's off to the north and east of us, high pressure well off to the east as well. You see the big area of low pressure to the north here. This is going to be a storm that's going to be coming in and causing a lot of problems in the upper Midwest, but not for us. Futurecast model looking at what's going on here. The showers that are there. This is that area of low pressure that's going to be sliding across. You notice it wants to bring some showers there. The warm flow continuing. That's the common denominator. Colder air to the north but that's not really going to make its way through for us. It's going to dip down just a little bit. We'll see some cooler temperatures toward the middle of the end of next week, but not for our Sunday. So for us today, going into tomorrow, almost exactly the same temperature and almost the exact same chances of precipitation, about 20% chances. Upper 70s will be your highs, so Christmas Day, <laughs> and I have Frank here because, you know, the ears match. You put my face there with those ears, it just doesn't work. <laughs> 78 degrees and he's going to be that high temperature. Just a few showers in the forecast there for the most part here. Take a look at that 10 day forecast going forward here. You notice slight chances here and the changes happen as we get toward the end of the week from the 70s, 70s down to 68 to 58 on Friday with the low 40s. That's going to be the big change between Thursday and Friday as we get ready for your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We're going to see some showers coming back in the forecast. Temperatures will be dropping on the backside of that back Back into the 30s as we go into the following week. But right now, today and tomorrow, temperatures on the warm side, slight shower chances. Enjoy.